Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the chromatic aberration effect inside of Photoshop 2021. Now, sometimes on YouTube, when you upload a video, the instant you upload it, you realize there's a better way of doing whatever you've just demonstrated. A couple of years ago, I uploaded a video on chromatic aberration in Photoshop, and this is exactly what happened. So this is going to be the better technique for chromatic aberration. I'll link to the previous video in the description. We are working in Photoshop 2021 and we're going to be using some keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to hit Control 5 on the keyboard. That doesn't change the image. All it does is to bring up the blue channel and we're going to be working on the blue channel. Filter, distort. Now, if you want a copy of the image in the that I'm using here, I'll have a link in the description. You can get a free trial to download that. Let's go to Spherize. And when you open up Spherize, it will look something like this. You'll have uh, an extreme amount of 100%. And I think that's just to show you how the effect works. You've got a very, very small preview. We're going to go all the way down to close to zero. I'm going to take it down to about minus four. You might want to make it a little bit less than this if you want, a little bit more. It's up to you. If you watch the image, you'll see it distort a little bit. There we are. And if we now hit Control 2, we'll see the full image. Just going to zoom in. And you can see the chromatic aberration effect there. Now, when you get this effect inside of the, the camera, it actually affects the corners a little bit more than the center. And this is exactly what we've done with this particular demonstration. You can also add a little bit of a blur to the edges. And you can do that with the iris blur filter. With this one, you will get an opportunity to just decide where the blur becomes really intense. And you can move these little boys here to start to determine where the blur starts. And that will give you a blur more at the edges than the center. Hit high quality, hit OK, and we're done. Now, if you want to, you can sort of repeat the effect a little bit just to make it a bit more intense. Or you can hit Control 3 to bring up the red channel, apply it to the red channel, control for the green channel, you'll get different chromatic aberrations depending on which channel you choose. Control two to get back to the original. And that is it for this one. Now, the question of this video is going to be, if we apply this effect, which is an analog distortion, but we are using digital software to apply the effect, is the effect analog distortion or is it digital distortion? That's the little question there you can help me with. That's going to be it for this one. Till next time, take care. I will see you then.